my efforts in mental illness and my goal are to uh, have a society with uh, that stigma free for people who s suffer from mental illness. I want a workplace that doesn't discriminate between having cancer or having a, a bipolar disorder. I looked for a job and uh, what was really uh, attractive to me was working for organized labor and I was hired by the California Federation of Teachers. We uh, work to uh, better the working conditions and for uh, educators, uh, we supported pieces of legislation and we also, when there were bills that were detrimental to educators and the membership, uh, we tried to defeat them. The membership did what they do best, they educated me about what it's like to be an educator, what it's like to be in that in front of that classroom, to drive that school bus, to work in the cafeteria. And so they taught me and I learned. My first 17 years was um, it's extremely rewarding. We were uh, a family. We were trying and we accomplished so much. In 1998, for example, we got the, uh, we were able to win uh, a pieces of legislation uh, that were signed by then uh, Governor uh, Pete Wilson. And we got the biggest benefit increase for teacher pensions in a quarter of a century. The first time I had uh, an experience with mental illness oh, myself was in 2004. And I was having a real hard time coping just every day. Every day was um, a chore for me to wake up, to get out of bed. I didn't take any time off, but I knew there was something wrong. I didn't want people to think that I was not able to um, be the lobbyist that they knew me to be. Um, I felt that people view mental illness as, um, as either you're making it up or you're, there's something really wrong with you that, you know, almost like a character flaw. And I felt like I had to push through that. I had to push through the time that I didn't feel right. I didn't want to let anybody know. There have been many people in the CFT that have had to um, take time off, use their uh, paid leave to address physical illnesses. And uh, CFT was always, uh, all of us were very much uh, supportive of those people. And uh, we sent flowers, we checked up on them. And, but I felt that with the mental illness, it was going to be treated differently. In 2012, when I took my medical leave, I had taken uh, one previous leave in the last 22 years. The hostility that they showed uh, towards me and the things that they were wanting me to do and the things that they were required, oh, that they were taking away from me, I was still an employee. It was as if uh, I was, the, you know, somebody who was out on a leave because they couldn't, um, you know, they, they broke their leg and they were being asked to uh, run a marathon the next day. Um, I couldn't believe my family was treating me this way. My website is called Mental Health Justice. And the reason for uh, that is that there's so many people that are um, out there that whether in a workplace environment, you know, whether in just, uh, you know, in a family environment, people don't understand this, um, this disease. And it is an illness. I want to be a, uh, a repository, a, a place where people who
who, when they um, are diagnosed with uh, mental illness, when they start feeling depressed, that they there's a place where they can go because I looked for it and when I got sick and I couldn't, I didn't, I, I couldn't find a place. I want a society that um, views people with mental illness as uh, not just sad, but who need help. And I want a society that um, has greater awareness um, and is educated about um, mental illness so that we can all um, help people who are struggling.